But let me uh, talk to you briefly before we get talking about uh, issues and stuff. Last time you were with us was four years ago, know, and really. since then, you had quite a cancer scare. I did. Well, more than a scare. I'm lucky yeah. to be here. Yes, yeah. you are. Uh, a couple of years ago, I, well, I had been diagnosed previously with another cancer. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make the Cancer Hall of Fame here. <laughs> <laughs> See how many diagnoses there? <laughs> I, I was diagnosed in uh, January of 2015 with a melanoma, which was, as the doctors said, you, you know you're in trouble when the doctors look at you and say, this is bad. Yeah. You know. But, and it was, but uh, you know that uh, ad you see on TV where the thing goes on the building, a chance to live longer, mm -hmm. up Devo? Well, that's my drug, <laughs> and that's why I'm here. It's amazing. Uh, wow. This immunotherapy, it really works. Well, it works for me. It doesn't work for everyone. Sure. And uh, I'm doing great. Did I mean, I, I really didn't think I'd, uh, I'd be around. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so it's, you know, right now it's... Uh, Full steam ahead. You look great, I Thank might you. add, too. Seriously, I mean, you look you look just like you did four years ago. Yeah. Uh, you well, actually look younger, somehow. Well, I'm not see, sure. that's the up devo, too. <laughs> side, it's a side Magic. effect. <laughs> so, uh, last time you were here, four years ago, President Obama had just been reelected, and mm -hmm. Governor LePage had finished up his first full legislative session. That's right. And um, if I remember right, uh, you were thinking that LePage might not get reelected in a couple of years. Did, did I say that? I, you might have alluded to it. You might have. Uh, but what? Uh, where do you think the state and the country is now, and where it's heading, and 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 how has this changed your perspective on things? I think it's. Uh, I think we learned a lot. We well, I will say this: we in the media learned a ton mm. in the past month, month and a half, um, and I think things are. Things have fundamentally changed nationally. I think here in Maine, uh, we do have one advantage over the rest of the country, and that is that, you know, as everybody, all of our fellow citizens across the country get used to dealing with Donald Trump, we have uh, six years of experience now <laughs> <laughs> Deal dealing with a very <laughs> dealing with a very similar personality type. Uh -huh. So. I've talked to people outside of Maine who are despairing, and I'm, I'm thinking back to how we felt back in 2010, and again in 2014, and you know, th th this too shall pass. We'll does, it, does it say something at all, though, about the message that Donald Trump had going into the election that resonated with a certain pocket of voters that was enough to, to lift him up over the top, that LePage had that same sort of message here in Maine? I think he did. Th does there need to be more listening, perhaps by both Precisely. sides? Precisely. And, and, and by, again, by the media. Mm -hmm. you know, I think that uh, the bubble that, that they talk about is very real. And uh, certainly, we've learned that it's, it's very dangerous to assume that you know what people are thinking if you don't go out and talk to them. Mm. You know, and I think that it's incumbent upon us to do a lot more than that. Do you think that uh, President-elect Trump will back off his Twitter usage as he gets into office? I doubt it. He's going to get the POTUS Twitter. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, how, I mean, how can That's, how can he resist? Do you, you think? Know? But does he have more followers on Twitter? Is it? <laughs> President-elect Trump's spokesperson think, is in the office. <laughs> uh, audience What's her name, Jennifer. I think 144 characters a pop suits. President-elect Trump very well, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't, I don't expect to see any. I don't expect it to diminish 